Hello and welcome to this video on integration by parts. We're going to use integration by parts to find a definite integral. We're working with the integral from 0 to 1 of arc tangent of x dx. So let's see how we can get started. First of all, notice that we have a definite integral. Because we have a definite integral, we need to use the integration by parts formula for definite integrals. So we're working with the integral from a to b of u times dv equals u times v evaluated at b minus u times v evaluated at a minus the integral of v du. Sometimes what we just wrote here is written as u, v, and then there is a vertical bar with an a on the bottom, the b on top, and then minus the integral of v du. And the integral is from a to b, a to b. So we choose uh, here, if we choose u equals arc tangent, you will see no other choice here because there is no other function that is the integrant that is part of the integrant, so r tangent. And if you choose dv as dx, there is no other choice. We find that du is 1 over 1 plus x squared, while v is the integral of dx. And that's x plus a constant we ignore. So that the integral from 0 to 1 of our tangent of x dx is equal to u times v, and that's x times our tangent of x at 0 better at 1 and then minus the value at 0 and then minus the integral of v du and we forgot to write the dx here dx over 1 plus x squared so we have x over 1 plus x squared times dx so we're working with 1 times the arc tangent of 1 minus zero times the arc tangent of zero, and that's zero minus the integral of x dx over one plus x squared. And the, to find the integral of x over one plus x squared, we can use substitution. We can see that if we choose u as one plus x squared, then we have du on top or part of du on top because then du is twice x dx. So du halves is x dx. So here we have one times arc tangent of one and that's pi over four. And we forgot to write the limits, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, minus the integral. And when x equals 0, u equals 1. Go from 1, 2. And when x equals 1, u equals 2. From 1 to 2 of x dx is du divided by 2, du divided by 2, and what we have on the bottom is u. So we're working with pi over 4 minus a half of the integral from 1 to 2 of 1 over u du. And that integral gives us a ln of the absolute value of u evaluated at 2 and at 1. We have pi over 4 minus a half of the ln of 2 in absolute value that gives us 2. 
minus the ln of one. And the ln of one is zero. So the final answer is pi over four minus a half of the ln of two. Okay. So in this problem, we used a combination of integration by parts and substitution to find a definite integral. If you have any questions, please write a comment. I will be happy to help you. Bye-bye.